The drinks we're about to make are bright, colorful, and full of character, which is exactly how you want your Halloween party to be. Hello, I'm Hannah Hart, and today we'll be learning how to make some extra spooky Halloween cocktails. This first drink looks like it was made by a mad scientist. It's green, it's in a beaker, mainly it's the beaker part. To make this drink, all it takes is some sour apple liqueur, a little vodka, and a dash of your favorite green sports drink. Use this as an opportunity to loosen up for the night ahead. Next, pour it into our stylish, very cool beaker and garnish with some extra special sour candies. As an adult, you have to find new ways to enjoy Halloween. So why not have a little fun with it? Our next cocktail turns candy corn into something actually edible. First, we're gonna take our candy corn and use it to infuse vodka. Let it sit for about an hour or so. Cocktails are a lot like the holidays. They're about celebration and they're about bringing people together. Then we're going to take our infused vodka and very gently pour it over the back of a spoon to layer our liquids. I really love Halloween because it's a community holiday. It brings your neighborhood together and if you don't have kids, it's a great way to bring all your friends over to get dressed up and frankly, play. Halloween is a great time to express your creative urges by transforming yourself for a day. Let's say you're throwing a Halloween party, but you don't know your neighbors. This is a great time to get to know them. In my new cookbook, My Drunk Kitchen Holidays, How to Savor and Celebrate the Year, I wanted to make a guide that would last you all year long. Also, I wanted to give a shout out to some of the lesser known holidays, like Left Handers Day, Middle Child's Day, Play God Day. The book is full of recipes, essays, and the occasional craft or two, just to make sure that you're enjoying your holidays all year long. And if you're someone like me who doesn't come from a lot of holiday traditions, this book encourages you to make new traditions that are for you and the family that you found. If the idea of coming up with some creative costume or cocktail stresses you out, don't be stressed. Even the simple things can get very creative. Pour it over some ice and top it off with a splash of ginger ale. And there you have it, a drink fit for a vampire, or as my people say, vampire. And last but certainly not least, it's a delicious, spicy, smoky potion. How do you make it? Well, first things first, we'll be making a sage simple syrup. This is basically just heating up water, sugar, and sage. Strain your syrup and set it aside, and now you're ready to make your cocktail. This cocktail is basically a margarita. We'll be using mezcal, lime juice, and a very dark, tart juice of your choosing. For me, I chose pomegranate. This cocktail is great for cardio. It involves lots of shaking, so shake, shake, shake it up, and then you're ready for the fun part. Do a little dance to get ready for the night ahead. This drink is served up, but there's a twist. We'll be using dry ice to give it that extra spooky, smoky potion effect. And finally, we're gonna be garnishing it with an adorable cinnamon stick and two sage sprigs. Now it looks like a poison apple. I know, it's really great. This cocktail looks super cool, but make sure to wait until it's completely done smoking before you enjoy this potent potion. It's gonna take a minute. I mean, I think these turned out pretty great. They're very colorful, they're very festive, and they're delicious. So enjoy one at your next party or home alone with your cats. Oh, yes!